Ahem. <clears throat> okay. I forget how it starts. I'm so nervous all of a sudden. Why? <laughs> hey, I'm Ellie Face, and I'm playing Astroneer with a ton of my really good friends. And this is what I'm doing right now. Today might be the closest thing you'll ever get from me to a cooking show, but we'll get to that in a moment. I spent the first day after my grueling road trip to Palm Desert just sleeping and relaxing and hanging out with my grandma. Given that I didn't get to spend any quality time with my other grandma, my dad's mom, during my previous trip, it was a priority to get up to Huntington Beach to see her, so that's what today's plan is. It's uh, 3.22, I'm about to drive to Huntington Beach. I'm gonna drive through the desert with no air conditioning. I'm already getting sweaty putting stuff in the car. I'm interested to see how wet I'm gonna be when I get there. It is broiling in here. I can't tell if it's better to have no air or to have moving but very hot air. It's hot enough that my camera mount is like sagging because it's made of plastic. It's getting really soft. Oh, jeez. One of the things that my dad's mom, or Grandma A, as we call her, has cooked for my siblings and me since we were kids is something we call meat tostadas. I've been bugging her for the recipe for years, but she always resists writing anything down because she never actually measures anything. Today, though, she's going to walk me through the process, so I'm going to strap a GoPro to my chest and get some sort of record of this elusive recipe. These are king-size corn tortillas. If you take a fork, I do it on the underside, and just, you know, poke holes all over it like that and turn it, poke holes. And that'll keep it from getting bubbles. I, I like to use Wesson canola oil. I always put the rough side down first. There's no, I just, like to do it that way. Do you turn it over? Yeah. See, this is kind of light still, but turn it over. Just hold it under. You can buy these already toasted. They're not the same as homemade, but they, you know, by the time you put all the loop on them, they're passable. So let me see. I got that. Did I get that big spoon out? No. Let me get this. Oh, I got it out. Oh. <laughs> that big spoon? Yeah. <laughs> Bring it over here and put it in here. Yeah. You can break that up. With this with thing? That. Yeah, just... And as it starts cooking, it's easier. It'll stay apart better. I have cornstarch. When you put the tomato sauce and stuff in there, it's a... You want it not to run off your tortilla. You want it to have a little body. So I put cornstarch in it. You probably put at least that much cornstarch. Now put a little water in it. Once you get it dissolved, you can fill it about halfway with water. You can open that. And I usually use one eight ounce can for every pound or pound and a half. That's about two pounds, so this will be okay, you know. And then this, when you go to open, you hold it like this and pour it. Make sure you get it all off away from the top. I put a little bit of basil. Just a small pinch of that because it's stronger. Okay, maybe you should stir this. You want it kind of even. So see if you do that like that. See how fine it gets? Mm -hmm. That's what you want to do. You don't want it real lumpy like that. Do you have a pan like this at home? Mm, not one that has high sides like this. Oh, I, I might have an extra new one, I think. I'll give it to you. Probably, it probably looks like it's done, huh? See, it's crackling. Mm -hmm. this one. Okay, now add the, the flavoring. Okay. okay, now you can put the 
tomato sauce in. And then fill the pan about half with water. And one thing when you're using tomato sauce, if you let it bloom, in other words, you cook it with nothing else in it except the tomato, and it changes the flavoring of the tomato. If you don't do that, you get more of a tomato taste. So if you let it cook for a little while with just the tomato, that's called blooming the tomato. You just let it simmer for a little while with just the tomato in it. Yeah, let it bloom a while and it'll turn, as you let it cook, it'll turn darker, the tomato. It gives it a different, richer flavor. You just have to stir it once in a while and make sure it doesn't stick the tomato doesn't stick to the bottom. Yeah, see it's thick enough and stuff. Now you can add, fill that thing with water, the, you know, the cornstarch. Yeah, you have to stir that and then fill the rest of the water. And be ready to stir it because that's when it can chill. So it, it can get lumps if you don't stir it. It looks milky, but it'll, it'll clear up. When it's ready, when it gets clear again, that means the starch is cooked into it. You might have to add a little water to it. When you stir, be sure you get the corner right there. See how it's sticky? Mm. Sometimes you have to go like that. Make sure right in the corner it doesn't stick because it'll burn. You can taste it and see if, what, if it needs. Right now, I would add more water and let it boil down. I can still taste the, the cornstarch. This is getting melted. <laughs> I think it's got soft. Ah, that's good. It's about a quarter teaspoon. The same with that. You can put a little more of that because that's a milder spice. Ah, put a little more. I would say about half a teaspoon. Yeah, like that. Then take your black pepper and just sprinkle it all over the place. Okay, what is that, cumin? Not quite as much, that's the stronger spice. Yeah, that's good. And this is sage, yeah, that's good. This time, a little stronger, so a little bit less. Yeah, that's good. I think it needs more salt. Myself, I don't know, it all depends on how salty you like your stuff. Usually pretty salty. I think it could be saltier. Yeah. I also wouldn't mind if it were spicier. Okay. Put another like half a teaspoon. What about chili flakes? Do you have any chili flakes? Oh yeah. I have chili flakes. You could put chili flakes in. Yeah, these chili flakes aren't very hot. Some they're, more? They're really might. Yeah, I'll put a little more. Keep adding water when you add something that's getting too stiff. Because this is going to be a lot stiffer when it cools. Yeah. I like the uh, <clears throat> the heat from the chili peppers. That mm -hmm. It leaves kind of a, a heat yeah. aftertaste. Yeah. But I feel like before you get that far mm. into the flavor, it's it flat. could use a little more mm -hmm. or something. Something, huh? Maybe you could use a little bit of um, cumin. Cumin is a very strong spice, so you have to be careful. Yeah, try that. So that's a meat tostada. It's going to take some iteration and experimentation to arrive at an actual recipe, I think, so that's going to be an ongoing project. Anyway, after cooking, we had a Mother's Day celebration with my dad and my aunt. All around, it was a pretty nice day. As time goes on, I'm more and more thankful that at my age, I've still got both my grandmothers around. That won't last forever, and I want to enjoy it while I can. Mm -hmm.